locking everyone up. It's all, it's all about helping, helping the citizen of the county slash the city you work in. And that's what made me love my job at, at, to this day right now, due to the fact that I, I can go to my job, not just locking everybody up, but also helping people in a way that they feel not so scared of the police. It makes them know that we are here to help them. People outside of making, determined making is a, is, a, is, a, is a bad place to live at. I will never live in Macon, Georgia. But in my eyes, law enforcement, Macon is not a, it's not a bad city or a county. What it is, making is, it, 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 it's more of a, 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 a more is a, a gatherness where people need to also get together and know that Macon is not bad by, what people determined by Macon was, was goes on news, what people spread, what people say, oh, police is bad at Macon. Uh, people kill get killed to make it. Most all the killings coming from domestic dispute, uh, drug activity, gangs, and I, but see people don't understand that because they don't live in making. They just go by what what get put out in news uh, newspapers. Uh, if they get shot on Brentwood, they won't they won't they won't go meet to the hospital unless it's so bad where they possibly near death. That's when we will get called due to a fact to an anonymous tip or a callers and let us know. But if they do get shot with night life threatening, they will they will try to cover the wound up to keep it from getting covered up, keep the police out there. And uh, what they do is sometimes they, they will go to the medical center, but they won't tell about Brentwood. Uh, they'll tell it they happened there on the Napier and Marford or uh, Napier and Bailey. They get us out the area of uh, Brentwood uh, due to the fact that they, they so they be so they be keeping the police out there because they, they sometimes they, they, they shooting leads up to being more other stuff drugs, uh, prostitution. Uh, and they lie about it. They just want sometimes they be like, I don't want I don't want to prosecute. I don't want to do nothing. I just want my wound seized by it and I don't want I want police involved. When I was a kid, I was I used to in trouble with the, with the police all the time. We used to go out there and uh, throw rocks at cars and. Uh, we used to fight, we used to do it, we do some of everything. But one thing I never did, I ain't never, we ain't never do breaking houses and breaking cars. But we always used to uh, fight and uh, try to damage property because we think we a thrill out of throwing rocks at cars and at buildings. But you know, when we got in trouble, when we got in trouble with that, uh, the officer in uh, Taylor County, we learned our lesson, got scared. We took us back there in that, in that precinct or, or office and showed us what, <laughs> what real life is. And my mama told him, keep us. And when we got scared, we started crying then. And we learned. So that's when we, we changed the whole aspect then. And, and that's when I was, what, 12 and 13? Trying to, trying, to, trying to be cool back then. But learning that cool gets you in jail. <laughs>